for coming to see us. Uh, Rebel, thank you for crowning Nick Bernstein prom king over yeah. there. Look at his little face. <laughs> Look at his little face. <laughs> now, bless you both for being here. Uh, Eugenio, I wanted to... This weekend in Miami was the inaugural Formula One race down there. Looked like an incredible day. What I didn't know, I never knew this, but you used to own a Formula Three racing team. Yes! Is that... I can't believe... Is being an owner of a team <laughs> as glamorous as it sounds? Not at all. Really? <laughs> why? Let me tell you why. I, when um, they invited me to be part of this, I, 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 lo I loved always uh, cars since I was a kid, and I always wanted to race a car. So when they told me about this, they said, if you invest in this, you can even race a car. So I was like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> so they finally convinced me. So I remember the first day I went to train, and uh, I was in, in, in Monterrey, in Mexico, training in, in, um, in, in the circuit, and uh, it was one of the worst days in my life. Why? Because you imagine that the cars are, you know, amazing, and they're not. I mean, <laughs> the, in order to, to be fast, they get rid of all the luxury. They, they don't have the shock absorbers. No. At all. So no cup holders or anything? No. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Yeah, I would hate that. You're that, that far from the ground? No AC, yeah. uh, oh. nothing. You can feel every pebble in the pavement. Oh, wow. In, in your butt. Yeah. <laughs> you can feel every crack in your crack. Wow. Um. So you don't recommend it? You don't recommend I mean, owning a it's team? really telling you, you're like in a coffin already. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you can move, and, and uh, there's, there's no hydraulic steering, anything. So, after many, many um, laps, uh, I, I started vomiting. <gasps> oh. So, uh, <laughs> and, and that's when you thought, I'm going to get out of the team? I couldn't. <laughs> At that moment, I couldn't, so I stayed there, like, for five years. But, uh... <laughs> and then every crash was a lot of mi millions and millions of pesos. Yeah. Well, it's a lot of money, a yeah. Lot of, yeah, still. <laughs> okay, well, then I don't think anyone here is gonna... Anyone here is gonna, gonna invest in such a thing. Nah. But, Rebel, you mm. are a huge sports fan, yep. huge fan of the LA Rams. We actually saw oh, each yeah. other, had a game. Yeah! You're properly yeah. into it. You yep. are... what well, you are big into football. Like, so big. Yeah. Uh, you've, you've actually struck yeah. up a friendship Look at um, you here at the Oscars oh my God, no, with no, Max Stafford. Yeah. Is this, like, look at yeah. You. Um, I mean, I was the official LA Rams ambassador and then they won the Super Bowl. So I don't want to say I was the lucky charm, but... <laughs> but it is true. They didn't win the Super Bowl when you weren't the ambassador. No. Yeah. So, like, and it's been awesome just to get to know them and, like, hang out. And then, well, we're at the Oscars Vanity Fair party together, and then I notice, like, a lot of people, they don't recognise the football players because they're normally wearing helmets yeah. on TV. But we were like, hey, that's, like, LA Rams. And then well, we I knew like... they were Rams because one of them was huge. Yeah, like and then, seven And then feet. you were talking to them, and I remember yeah. saying to my wife, they are 100% LA Rams players. Yeah. Because look how excited Rebel is. I know. And she's not I don't, excited about any actor I don't get here. excited about, like, Leo DiCaprio no. or anyone. I'm just, like, LA Rams, like, yeah. Yeah. The <laughs> I mean, yeah. if we're talking about champions, the Oscars... World champions. Johanjo, here you are here on stage uh, with the cast of Coda when you won Best Picture. <laughs> What did this, what did that moment mean to you? Oh, that was probably one of the best nights in my life. You see me, that I was looking to the sky. I was looking to a guy that wasn't on top of... No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was for... I was thinking my mom. Yeah. Because when I was... I was a kid, I, I, I used to go to the movie theaters very often with my mom. Every weekend we watched, like, uh, two or three movies a day, sometimes four. And we always watched the Oscars together, so... Uh, and I always told her, I, I, I would like to be there someday. I would like to be a storyteller. So when I finally was there, I couldn't believe that... I, when I was a kid, I was watching uh, th that stage from my house. So I look uh, to the sky and I send her a kiss. Oh! That is so... I'm so pleased you had that moment. Yeah. So gorgeous.
Uh, Rebel, earlier in the show, we crowned our Late Late Show prom king. Which and is you... kind of like the Oscars. Very similar. <laughs> it's certainly Nick's Academy Awards. Look at him there. Just yeah. sat there right now. Yeah. Uh, you sent us a photo. Yeah. This is Rebel Wilson at high school. That's not... Talk to me. What are we looking at here? Okay. What's happening? So that's me with my friends Anne and Zara at my sweet 16th birthday party. And this party was like the most epic high school party you could ever imagine. Like, it was like in a movie, so they should make a movie of it. Um, 30 minutes before the party started, a bus load of gate crashes came. No. Like, on a bus. How'd they even, like, get a bus to my house? <laughs> but they did. And then the cops were called three times Stop. in the night. People were getting punched. People, like, it was, like, insane. It was, like, one of those parties where it was just, like, chaos. Luckily, my parents barricaded the house so that the house wasn't destroyed. But all I remember is, like, I got pretty upset because of some of the bad things that were happening. So I went to bed at midnight and then I remember just waking up and looking out the back window and there's just... You couldn't see the backyard. It was just bottles <gasps> everywhere. And my mum just, like, putting the bottles into a big bag <laughs> one by one. And I was like, oh, gosh, what... But everyone thought it was the most legendary party and talked about it for years later. <laughs> now, Rebel, we've got to congratulate you on your brilliant new movie, Senior Year. For anyone who doesn't okay. know, tell us what it's about and who you play. All right. Um, so I play um, a character called Stephanie and she wakes up from a 20-year coma and decides she wants to redo her senior year at high school. Um, so it's a serious drama. Mm. <laughs> I, I hope the academy is. Yeah, um, yeah I had Recognizes to. Recognizes your work. Yeah, I had to play like I get out of the coma and I'm like, oh, you know, and like yeah. just do serious. No, it's <laughs> it's a comedy, guys, and and it's just gonna bring a lot of cheer. There's like cheerleading and dancing and lots of fun stuff. And in the movie, you you recreate the iconic uh, Britney Spears music video. Yeah. So you drive me crazy, which looks like a phenomenal amount of fun. Did you enjoy doing that? Yeah, I mean, of course, one, I love Britney um, and I just wanted to pay homage to her because uh, 20 years earlier in the film in 2002, she was like the biggest star in the world. Mm. And so we did the crazy video and then I have this thing, I don't know whether, because you do a lot of musical stuff as well. When I'm dancing, I just really like to give it. Yeah. Like, I just give my all just to, to it. And then what happens is I fall over. Mm. <laughs> Um, and so in the Britney thing, there's, they actually keep the take where I'm dancing and just, like, loving it and, like, doing all the things and then I fall forward out of frame. But then I, like, the show must go on. So I'm just, like, and I get back into it. <laughs> uh, of course you do. But I don't know why. In dance routines, I always fall over. And in Pitch Perfect 2, I, we were doing the shooting the big finale sequence and I fall over in front of like 2,000 extras and then I got scolded for it. They thought I was doing it deliberately. I'm like, no, I just get so into it that I just fall over. Um, Balance, but, gone. Yeah, but in senior year, that actually made the finished movie, so... Well, of course, it's going to be yeah. absolutely... I think it's going to be a huge <laughs> success. Let's take a